It was Parry Brest on the menu this weekend as the league leaders welcomed the Brittany-based side to the capital. Maurizio Pochettino and his team were looking for an immediate return to winning ways after having to come from behind again in a one-all draw with Lyon last Sunday. Their weekend was nonetheless better than Les Pirates, who slumped to a 3-0 defeat despite spending most of their game against Nice with an extra man. Now they will come up against the side who had beaten them in each of their last eight league meetings, although one still missing two of its biggest stars with Neymar injured and Lionel Messi still recovering from Covid. And it was the underdogs with the first chance of note, a ball from the left not dealt with by President Kimbembe, falling to the feet of Irving Cardona, totally free in the box, but Gianluigi Donnarumma coming to the rescue of his defender. Good reactions and a good strong hand down to his right. The keeper will be tested by Cardona again from the resulting corner, a glancing header nearly sneaking in under the bar, the Italian tipping it over. PSG finally got going, just over half an hour gone, and when they did, who else but Kylian Mbappe to give them the lead, standing up Brendan Chardonnay and sending an unstoppable effort through the defender's legs into the near bottom corner. Takes the 23-year-old into double figures, it's 10th of the campaign, now joint third on the top scorers list. Clipping the post on its way in, it's 19 in all competitions and 26 for club and country so far in a stellar season. PSG had lost just one of their 14 home games against Brest in the top flight, that defeat coming all the way back in September 1981. The chances of the visitors putting an end to that 40-year winless run didn't look good at half-time. The home side with a width of the far post away from making it 2-0 with the first attack of the second half. Marco Verratti denied a collector's item after a shot which left Marco Bizot standing. Almost a toe punt, but effective from the Italian and nearly a first goal since 2017. It wasn't long until they were two up though. The ball sent out to Nuno Mendes on the left, turning this way and that. Eventually skipping beyond Rone or Pierre Gabriel and squaring for Tilo Correa to convert from close range. They wait two years for a goal and then two come at once. Having netted the equaliser against Lyon, Carrera was rewarded with a place in the starting lineup, and the German defender paid Pochettino back by making it goals in back to back games. Impressive volleyed finish from a fast moving cross. The Parisians kept coming, an Mbappe cross, half hearted shouts of handball, then chipped in from the left. Marquinhos' header cleared off the line. Follow up header from Mauricardi stopped by Bizot. Mbappe then with the chance for a second. It's actually his own defender Bizot would be saving from. Pierre Gabriel with a toe poke to take it away from the PSG forward, but definitely heading goalwards. Unfortunate his keeper reacted quickly. A few minutes later, Bappe with another helping hand from the Brest defence. His long range effort deflected and very nearly looping over Bizot. The Dutchman doing well to scramble back and tip it over. One final chance for a brace from Bappe, but denied once again by Bizot. So an 11th consecutive win over Brest in all competitions for the Parisians and a return to an 11-point margin at the Liga Ubrit Summit. The last time the Bretons even managed as much as a point against the Capital Club was in 2011, so perhaps an unexpected result. But that's now four games without a win for Brest, who may have an eye over their shoulder at the relegation spots.